today we will solve the uh, problem 7.5 chapter 7 of Griffith introduction to quantum mechanics third edition this problem also related to perturbation since it's a lengthy problem i have uh, divided this into two parts uh, today we are going to solve the section a that is this is part one in the next uh, lecture part two we will solve the second subdivision uh, we will see uh, the problem 7.5 it contains two parts uh, today we are going to see the first part second part is uh, calculate the second order correction to ground state energy that is uh, e naught zero uh, with uh, potential given potential is in problem 7.2 in 7.2 uh, given potential is of uh, epsilon uh, k x squared where uh, epsilon, epsilon is very small number uh, this we will see in the next lecture uh, today we will see the first part uh, in problem 7.1 we have seen the first order energy correction uh, in this problem that is 7.5 we are going to find the uh, second order energy correction that is e sub 2 sub n uh, 2 uh, for the same potential as given in problem 7.1 that is perturbed potential h prime is equal to alpha times uh, delta function delta x minus a by 2 that is we are disturbing the system at the middle of the square well potential that is a by 2 where a is the width of the uh, potential well uh, and uh, we uh, it is uh, asked to, to comment you can uh, sum the series explicitly obtaining minus 2m uh, times alpha divided by pi h cross n whole square for add n uh, even n it will be it is going to be zero we are going to see now uh, the for a, a potential well problem infinite potential well uh, problem uh, the, the unperturbed wave function of nth order is equal to square root of uh, 2 by, by a sin n by, by a x. Now, our next task is we have to find the inner product of this. That is, cross uh, i m 0 h prime uh, get uh, psi n 0, uh, which is equal to uh, this wave function, you write. This is the uh, complex conjugate of this wave function and m you remember that m it is m uh, so uh, sin m pi by a x of course it is a square root of 2 pi a comes outside the integral similarly uh, the potential h prime is potential uh, perturbed potential is alpha times this delta function delta x minus a pi 2 and psi n 0 uh, that is uh, nth order uh, which is equal to sin uh, n pi divided by a x uh, dx uh, here uh, you will get one square root 2 pi a and here uh, one square root 2 pi a so this will become uh, 2 pi by a and alpha comes from this uh, perturbed potential uh, this is the delta function of the perturbed potential uh, now, if you integrate this, uh, you will get uh, you, uh, that is uh, x is uh, x uh, can be replaced by uh, a by 2. So, this is valid only if x is equal to uh, a by 2. Otherwise, this uh, entire integral will be 0 except that particular point x, minus, uh, x is equal to a by 2. So, I am replacing this uh, by uh, x by a by 2. Uh, here also x by a by 2. Uh, so, now this a a will get cancelled. Uh, here also this a a will get cancelled. So, now uh, we will get uh, 2 by a alpha times uh, sin m by, uh, m by divided by 2 sin n by divided by 2. 
So we got this uh, for this inner product. So now we got this one. That is the inner product of uh, uh, psi m uh, h prime psi n is equal to this uh, 2 divided by a alpha uh, sin uh, m pi uh, divided by 2 sin n pi divided by 2. Uh, if it is uh, odd number m n or odd then you will get uh, um, pi by 2 uh, times n that is uh, integer integer uh, multiplied by the pi by 2 so naturally this value is 1 for odd value it is 1 uh, you, it should be remember that both m and n should be odd otherwise if any one is even then it will become sine pi which is equal to 0 so only when m and n is odd you will get uh, 2 divided by a alpha uh, so, otherwise it will be zero. This is, uh, you will have a solution only for uh, both M and N is add. Uh, now, we know for infinite uh, square well potential, uh, the nth energy state is equal to N squared pi squared H cross squared divided by 2 M A square. Uh, that means, uh, EN. Remember that this is unperturbed energy of the nth state and this is unperturbed energy of the uh, mth state. So EN minus EM is equal to, uh, see here pi squared h cross squared over 2MA squared is a common factor. Uh, then this N squared, nth energy state is N squared minus M squared you will get. So what we need is the inverse of this one. That is 1 over E10 minus, uh, because we are, sorry, uh, EN0, E sub N0 minus E uh, sub M0, which is equal to uh, 2M A squared. Uh, that is, I am taking inverse of this. Both side, right hand side and left hand side, I am taking inverse. So this will become uh, 2ma squared will become uh, in the numerator and pi squared h cross squared uh, n squared minus m squared will come in the denominator. So this is uh, 1 over e, uh, en minus em. This is. So naturally the second order energy correction is by definition summation over uh, n not equal to m of course both should be odd number this is square of the inner product by definition this is square of psi m uh, h prime uh, psi n modulus square uh, e n uh, of 0 minus e m 0 so you know this square if you take this square uh, that is this inner product so the square of this inner product you will get 2 pi by a alpha whole squared and you have to replace this uh, uh, that is en uh, minus em is equal to this term you are going to replace in this point here and then we will see what will happen to this uh, so finally we got the second order energy correction e sub n 2 is equal to summation over uh, 2 divided by a alpha whole squared and 2 m a squared uh, divided by pi squared h cross squared uh, times 1 over n squared m squared uh, this uh, i have mentioned this term in rectangular square uh, which is a replacement for uh, 1 over uh, e power e n minus e m. Just now we have seen in detail how we got this one. So uh, now you can see here you have a square a squared here. So this a squared will get cancelled with this a squared. Here you have another a squared. So a squared a squared will uh, get cancelled. You will have uh, 4, uh, 2 squared, uh, 4, 4 alpha squared, of course, to, uh, this 2m, you have this 2m, uh, in the denominator, you have pi squared, h cross squared, I am taking out, because it's uh, 
uh, not running index. This M is mass that you have to remember, not this running index M. Uh, so uh, I have taken all the constant outside the summation. Uh, this summation term, which I have shown in uh, red color, uh, uh, sorry, in rectangular parts, uh, you can uh, use the power series method and simplify it. It's a little bit lengthy and straightforward simplification. Uh, finally, you will obtain uh, after simplification that the summation term will turn out to be 1 over uh, 2n, uh, 2n whole square. So now you got here this 2m. 2m I brought uh, first v after I rearrangement. This will become 2m. Then this 4 alpha squared. Uh, divided by pi squared h cross squared uh, 1 over 2n whole squared. 2n whole squared is uh, 4n uh, squared. So here you can see 4 and this 4 will get cancelled with this 4. So after rearrangement you will have 2m this alpha squared uh, divided by pi squared h cross squared 1 over n squared. So this squared term I am going to rewrite as alpha divided by n pi h cross whole square. So the second order energy correction is zero uh, if n is even and it is equal to 2m times alpha divided by n by h cross uh, squared h cross whole square if n is odd. So uh, which is our uh, required result we got the result. Uh, thank you very much for watching my video and supporting me continuously. The second part of the problem uh, we will solve in my next lecture. Uh, we have solved only the first part. Still second part is there. We will solve it uh, in my next lecture. Thank you very much for watching my video.